All right, guys, so morning deadlift session going down right now. We're at a gym called Brain Athletics in uh, Houston right now. Um, it's like 9.30 in the morning and we're just getting this deadlift session in. Now deadlifts has been something that I've been like very hesitant to get back into because uh, it kind of hurt my back months ago and it hasn't really recovered properly like I thought it was going to. So we're trying to get back into deadlifts. We are just over two weeks out from University World. So uh, it's coming up really, really fast. And I'm trying to just do my best to focus on form, limit pain as much as possible while also, it's like such a predicament. Like I'm trying to stay healthy, but also be able to push weight up a little bit. You know, try and pull something decent on the platform. And it's hard going straight from a, obviously from a body length show straight into this, but we're trying our best to make things work. So uh, they have a really nice setup here. So we got, we have two plus, um, two in the bar. So this will be 265 pounds, I believe is what this should be. So yeah, just really, really focus on bracing, um, taking that breath to the top on the deadlift. And that's what I recommend for a lot of people, trying to brace at the top, just keep form throughout. I had this real bad issue with my back recently, my lower back, and I'm trying to just prevent anything bad from happening. So we're trying to keep pain minimal, hit a single today, hopefully RP7, but last time we hit 485. Allie is over here too, and she is doing bench today, right? I've never been so excited to bench in my life. Yeah. I did 95 for three. For three? You just did it or what? Are you, are, are you about, okay. I feel a little weak. I haven't benched in like 13 weeks, so. Yeah. I'm not expecting much. I might go up one more time and try to get like one. See so if you do 115. 115. I think you do it. Like if you get tight enough, you get, I mean, you haven't benched in a long time. So it's like, yeah. you know, you can't expect too, too much, but like 135 coming soon, right? right? Better than last week. What's up guys so tonight we are doing me and Allie are doing a little date night so we'll show you guys the full fit we're looking all good and everything we're going out on a Thursday night uh, to get some food where are we going to Allie sushi sushi you know what the place is called nope no nope we're going to a sushi place and then I think we're gonna get ice cream after and then <laughs> we, we might get some wine I was gonna say and do a tipsy QA. we might get some drinks and stuff like that. Tonight, mm -hmm. so we're starting off with Start off with two rolls. We're getting uh, two two more should be on the way. Isn't that really good? Yeah. So this is like um, what do they call that one? Cali something? Hotel Cali. Yeah. This one's the Hawaiian one. So we got two different rolls right here. We got we could definitely eat way more than this. Like. Well, we're using sushi masa. All you can eat. Sushi masa is all you can eat. Yeah. We get like. Well, yeah, they were I did eight rolls. I did four last time. Did you actually? That was good for me. Yeah. yeah. So good. So we're going to eat to get wine. We just got food donuts too. We just, so. Yeah, Ali wanted donuts really badly, so um, she made me stop and get donuts. So, did you want donuts or was that me? What you say? All right, guys, so we made it back from the grocery store. Apparently, HEB said that you couldn't vlog in the store, so you couldn't film in the store or something like that. So, um, we decided, like, and my camera off too. So. Easy there, boss. Um, so. <laughs> Houston, quiet down there. Man. Yeah, Houston's going crazy over here, but we got voodoo donuts. Let me show you. Um, Allie, what, what did you, what did we end up getting? So, so <laughs> Allie and me, we picked out like six or seven donuts apparently. So there's like a maple bacon one. There's this M&M's one. 
This one's got uh, cream filling in it. Well, I guess we'll show you all the, this one has Oreos. Looks insane, but you said it was. <laughs> so we got um, donuts. We got a big thing of wine. Um, so this is like the like the 1.5 liter or whatever. Um, so we got that. So we're doing a little bit of wine. We're also going to do, we got one more thing from H-E-B while we were there, um, which if you guys been following me for a long time, you guys know I love the Ben & Jerry's. So we, we're trying out this one, dirt cake topped Ben & Jerry's, uh, 1,220 calories for the entire pint. So we're gonna split that. And this is just basically turning into a full cheat day is what it's turning into, but. Yeah. Seems like it's like a pattern for us. <laughs> we, we were talking about like on prep, there were so many things we wanted to eat and stuff like that. Yeah, true. And we're kind of just getting all of our system. We haven't really had, we haven't really had anything like, anything crazy yet. Hmm? You, you wanna try one? Which one should I try? Mm. This one's pretty good. Just like, go for it. All right, so this is maple bacon donut, right? You wanna try it out? Let's see. It's a big ass donut. That is a big honker, oh my god. I've heard like mixed reviews about Voodoo, but like I've never had it. They look really, really good, but. Seven out of 10. Seven out of 10, okay. See, I just, I hate when like I go into something with like already thinking it's gonna be like average. So I kinda want, I wanna try this one and try the cream one here too. So, check this out. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's not gonna be like your local mom and pop shop. You don't have fresh and made at like you know, six in the morning or whatever, but um, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Is there a stomach ache from this? Probably. Wine, ice cream, donuts. I'm gonna get to the cream though. That one's pretty good. Station in the world, Bucky's. Um, it is my first time experiencing something so large. What? Yeah. What have you heard about Bucky's so far? Bucky's is a. Uh, All I've heard is from you that it's, it's like has everything. It's a Texas treasure, man. This is. Uh, you and Nathan actually told me about this. You guys, are, <laughs> you guys were both like, "Bro, we gotta go to Bucky's." I'm like, I really don't. Bro, see how we you gotta go to Bucky's. Yeah, we're at Bucky's right now. We are driving out to San Antonio for the weekend, actually, uh, for a friend's birthday. Um, so we stopped here real quick. I made sure Ali needed gas. We wanted food, energy drinks. I was like, "There's a Bucky's in five miles." <laughs> so we're going in to uh, check out what Bucky says. I haven't been here in about a couple of years, honestly. Some food here, get some energy drinks, and we'll be on the road. We're probably about two hours away from San Antonio, and I've not been in San Antonio since I was like 11 years old or something like that. So 